just have one, they say. One child, they mean. A couple of days ago, a friend of mine told me a story that a work colleague had shared with her. And that story really got my blood boiling. Yeah, and so I really th thought I have to bring this here and give voice to this. Yeah. So this is how the story goes. This colleague of hers is in her late 30s, turning 40 soon and living child free. She's single, she's not in a relationship and you know, she's obviously now really having to ask herself the question, do, what do I want to do with this? Am I going to pursue motherhood on my own? Um, do I want to have a child? Do I not want to have a child? Now it's important to be said that this woman is apparently really, really good working with traumatized teenager. This is something which she really enjoys. And also this woman carries um, her own generational trauma uh, around, you know, mothering, motherhood and parenting. Yeah? And she has come to um, the decision that most probably, you know, she's gonna opt out on having children in this lifetime. Now, this is what happened once she started to share this in conversation with other women, you know, not asking for their advice, just talking about this, you know, as, you know, this topic comes up. And this is what she heard again and again. Just have one so you won't regret it. Now, first of all, if someone is not asking you for advice, you know, it's really not our place to, to give advice, but also this answer is just so, it's not thoughtful, yeah? To say this to another woman, yeah? Now, you know, when, when we think about for a moment, you know, this woman is happy in a way how her life is right now. She really enjoys her work, has found a calling there. She, um, you know, is by herself. The likelihood that having, like bringing a child into this mix, you know, the likelihood that this could make her severely unhappy but also maybe put a lot of stress on her and her life is quite big yeah especially if she's not she's not seeing um you know she's not feeling it like she's not feeling like motherhood as a vocation yeah? for example now the second thing is this whole thing about regret yeah. Uh, uh, who uh, we don't know ourselves what we're going to regret one day in the future. Yeah, we can all just make decisions based on what is true for us today, what feels right today, and then we take action from that place. Yeah. Also, people who are contemplating living child-free for the rest of their lives, whether it's by choice or by circumstances, you know, we, I mean, we think about, and most of us will think about, you know, are we going to regret that, our decisions at some point, or am I going to regret that I didn't opt in for IVF or adoption, for example, yeah? Like, it's, it's not like, this, this question of are we going to regret this one day is probably at the forefront for many um, people when they start to contemplate or choose living child free for the rest of their lives. Yeah? So uh, you pointing it out or we pointing it out to someone else is just not helpful. Yeah? Yeah. Now, and this is the thing. I, I, I think I know where it comes from that people, you know, feel entitled that they can say such a thing 
without thinking about what they're saying you know like if, if you have children and this is a very fulfilling thing for you maybe this is the most meaningful thing in your life having children raising them you know deeply fulfilling well you know you for you it might be really hard to understand that this would not be the case and is not the case for other people yeah but that's how it is like it is very very you know there's a lot of people who really live a rich mature meaningful fulfilled life child free and even though you may not be able to contemplate that well but you know people are living these lives so it's not up to us to say what you know what someone else should do and what they maybe regret one day and here's just one more thing about the, the chest one and I feel like I have to say that because you know I, I've got so many you know close friends I know a lot of women who have one child and one child is not just one child you know one child is a lot of work one child will change your life yeah it will challenge you you're gonna love certain things about it you're gonna uh, hate certain things about it you know and that I mean that's what I what that what I witness you know um, with those people or women who are very you know honest uh, about these things yeah and it's the same thing you know uh, when you choose to live child free for the rest of your life it's not just gonna be happy ever after you know there will be challenges and you know uh, opportunities for growth either way yeah so let's not belittle the the women and the couples who have one child it's not just one yeah. it's one yeah and one is as as you know good as two or as you know none so yeah if you've been that person who said this sort of thing to someone else you know you're forgiven of course you are like we we all say things that we sometimes don't think about i mean i'm absolutely guilty of that and you know let's just be mindful of this yeah be mindful of this and if you hear other people saying this these things just call them out and tell them that this is not appropriate yeah it's not appropriate all right good so with this said have a have a good day bye